Welcome back. As we promised, we are going to tackle a very important issue, which is preparing our emails or preachers. How to answer all questions um, upon scientific and Sharia rules. How to meet with the changes and challenges which are facing us well um, from all over the uh, aspects of life. There was a very important meeting which took place between President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Minister of Endowments Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Guma on Thursday in which they discussed um, in detail the importance of preparing uh, and qualifying our preachers to face the current challenges and changes, as I said. To shed more light on this, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Dr. Ahmed Farag, journalist and researcher in Islamic studies. A very good morning to you, Dr. Farag. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Um, sir, as I said, whenever it comes to the surroundings, whenever it comes to the challenges and changes around us, Preparing and qualifying our imams and preachers is a very important topic. First, before we go into the details, how do you see the political leadership keenness to uh, tackle this point and to uh, give these presidential instructions to continue with qualifying our imams? Okay, well, um, actually, um, as you know, uh, um, the, uh, the world suffers from uh, uh, an increasing wave of uh, um, terrorism and extremism, uh, uh, and especially uh, uh, linked with the uh, bad image of, uh, uh, of Muslims and Islam in the uh, Western uh, media. Uh, so, uh, uh, um, to, uh, to, uh, to improve uh, this image and to prepare uh, um, uh, a moderate uh, religious uh, thinkers, uh, there was an initiative uh, launched by uh, our uh, uh, political leadership, represented in uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, uh, who uh, called for preparing uh, enlightened and, and moderate uh, uh, religious uh, thinkers uh, who are able to deal with the uh, uh, latest uh, issues of concerns for, uh, for uh, Muslims. Uh, 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 actually, um, as we know, uh, the Egyptian uh, uh, identity is a religious uh, identity in, uh, in nature. And, and people always uh, um, try to uh, uh, try to know uh, the uh, religious uh, uh, position of many actions and many uh, uh, behaviors in their life, um, in social, uh, economic, uh, educational, political, etc. So that's why uh, we should uh, prepare uh, um, qualified cadres who are able to uh, uh, tackle uh, uh, many issues. Through what, sir? Issues. Through uh, advanced training programs, uh, through exchanging the experience with other Islamic countries who started earlier in uh, this long journey, through what? Um, uh, 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 let's focus uh, on um, uh, our, uh, on one, one aspect of um, uh, of uh, improving uh, the uh, image of uh, Islam in, uh, in in the Western media, uh, um, uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, related uh, to uh, the. Um, the, uh, the sources of uh, Sharia, as we know, uh, the sources of Sharia are mainly uh, the Holy Quran and the prophetic uh, uh, Hadith and uh, the uh, Ijma', which is the agreement of the uh, uh, Islamic uh, uh, um, scholars uh, on, uh, on, uh, on a certain uh, issue. Uh, uh, whether uh, it is uh, labeled as lawful or un, uh, unlawful. So uh, in this respect, uh, the, uh, uh, the enlightened imams or the uh, uh, moderate uh, religious thinkers 
can play a major role uh, in, in tackling uh, many issues uh, related uh, to uh, the uh, third source uh, uh, of uh, Islamic Sharia. Yes. Of course, in addition to being experts in Sharia, in uh, explaining the verses of, uh, uh, of our Quran, of uh, the hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, how do you see the importance of taking into consideration that the new modern Imam should be very much acquainted with the social, economic, cultural, uh, media, um, all the uh, events which are taking place in all aspects of life. Okay, let's say that uh, the uh, religious uh, knowledge uh, acquired by the imams uh, while uh, studying uh, at Al-Azhar University, for example, is not enough uh, to, uh, to tackle uh, many uh, contemporary issues which is of uh, uh, concern uh, of uh, everyday Muslims. Mm -hmm. So uh, nowadays, uh, due to uh, globalization and the, um, the uh, technological advancement seen in every aspect in life, the imams uh, should, uh, uh, should qualify themselves uh, with, uh, uh, with many, uh, with many uh, knowledge uh, such as uh, uh, economic, uh, political, social, technological, and etc. Be because uh, uh, there are uh, many issues that can be tackled not only uh, from the perspective of religion, but from the perspectives of uh, other uh, uh, spheres of knowledge. Uh, sir, since we are speaking about technology and about the latest technology, uh, technologies, how do you see the importance of social media and the apps which uh, we can uh, just uh, download uh, onto our mobiles or even laptops? We are, are, go we are going to find that uh, the Ifta house or Daril Ifta speaks in so many languages. So is Al Azhar. How do you see the importance of acquiring uh, uh, different foreign languages and how do you see the importance of uh, these uh, language, uh, languages to answer all those who have questions from all over the world. I mean, we can reach them through their own languages, not only through Arabic. Uh, well, um, actually, uh, the other establishment uh, 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 has many specialized centers for these purposes. Uh, and also, uh, Dar, uh, the Egyptian Dar al-Ifta, al uh, and uh, they receive many uh, uh, questions on uh, religious issues uh, from uh, Muslims all over the world, and they provide uh, uh, the answers in, uh, in foreign languages such as English uh, and French and many other uh, Far Eastern languages. Uh, so in, uh, in this regard, uh, um, uh, any imam should, uh, uh, should have least uh, at least uh, uh, a foreign language uh, to be able to uh, even uh, be acquainted what's going on around him in the world uh, and um, uh, to be able to uh, uh, deal with uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, issues uh, uh, raised by, uh, uh, by the uh, Western thinkers and the uh, non-Muslims either. Yes. Sir? Uh, in your opinion, how much time should it take to have a qualified, modern, moderate imam? I think uh, um, a moderate imam uh, should have at least um, uh, one year he, uh, he or she spend in uh, acquiring the, uh, the um, additional tools that uh, qualify him or her to be able uh, to uh, communicate uh, with, uh, 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 with, the, uh, with the modern, with the modern uh, um, youth uh, or uh, the, the, uh, the contemporary or to deal with the contemporary uh, issues. So uh, uh, at least he should have uh, an additional uh, year of, uh, tra of specialized training courses 
that can, that can be organized by uh, uh, the uh, Ministry of Endowments or uh, the Al Azhar establishment and so on. All concerned bodies, whether the uh, Ministry of Endowments or Al Azhar or Al Ifta House. Sir, I was, I was really happy when you used the pronoun her also. Because we should focus uh, yeah, we also female on preachers female nowadays, preachers. Yeah. How do you see the importance of having female preachers and the importance of, um, of using them in so many uh, aspects of life and all over Egypt? I mean, they, would, they should be uh, able to reach the Egyptians in the far areas, in the remote villages. How do you see uh, the importance of this? Uh, uh, not only uh, the preachers uh, 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 should be uh, uh, males, but but also females, because uh, even uh, if we uh, get back to uh, the uh, Islamic heritage uh, uh, during the prophetic era, the uh, mother of believers, uh, Al Sayyida Aisha, may Allah we uh, please uh, with her. Uh, 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 was doing uh, something like that. Uh, she uh, she was receiving questions, uh, especially from uh, from women uh, uh, relating to uh, uh, private issues, and then uh, she uh, passed uh, these uh, questions or uh, uh, issues to the Prophet uh, uh, peace and prayer be upon him, and then uh, she uh, get back to the women and provided them with the prophetic answers. So uh, 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 being a female uh, preacher uh, in Islam actually is not a contemporary uh, uh, event, but also uh, it is uh, something uh, taken from our Islamic uh, uh, heritage. Yeah. خذوا نصف دينكم من هذه الحميراء take half of your religion from yeah, this exactly, lady yeah, this is exactly. the hadith of uh, our prophet peace be upon him my last question sir is media and the role of media how do you see the role of media in this regard uh, actually uh, let's focus on all uh, media outlets uh, for example the uh, social networking and the uh, traditional uh, uh, mass media uh, such as the TV, radio and newspapers, they uh, should all uh, uh, participate uh, in, uh, in, um, uh, in preparing and qualifying the uh, moderate uh, imams. And the uh, moderate imams nowadays uh, uh, should be acquainted with the latest uh, uh, developments and advancement in uh, social networking uh, uh, sites because um, uh, the uh, majority of youth uh, nowadays uh, 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 receive their uh, basic information from uh, such uh, outlets. So uh, uh, they should, for example, uh, uh, create a special uh, uh, pages uh, to, re um, to receive uh, uh, the questions, and then they uh, uh, deliver uh, their answers uh, through these uh, pages. Uh, Dr. Ahmed Farag, journalist and researcher in Islamic studies, thank you very much for your input, sir. Have a very good day and happy Ramadan to you. And by this, we come to the end of uh, our breakfast show today. Stay tuned on Nile TV International always for more updates tomorrow is another day with another crew. You are in the company of my dear colleague Amal Mukhtar and myself, Nirmeen Abdurrahman. For more details, please log on to www.nileinternational.net. Many thanks for watching.